YouTube, I'm excited. I got a banger for y'all today. I'm telling y'all, it's like three o'clock in the morning. I'm literally up. I'm excited. I'm wired, man. Uh, there's, there's literally like only a certain amount of things that can get me like this. And I'm telling y'all, shoes do it for me. Okay, I have a early look at the Nike SB Dunk Low Street Hawker. Okay, early review for y'all, man. I have not seen nobody post these yet on YouTube. So hopefully I am the first video. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this video, man. Let me know if y'all liking the, com the, the content that I'm bringing to y'all. 2021, I'm telling you, I'm trying to do everything early. All right? But I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Let me know that y'all fucking with what I'm doing. All right? That's all I ask y'all that y'all do. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like what I'm putting out? Just let me know that. Leave a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification so you guys know when I uh, post a new video. And we're just going to rock, man. That's just what we're going to do. So, I just wanted to do this on a video specifically. Y'all look at my background. Y'all see you got the Carmine Sixes on fire. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, scan this QR code for y'all. Let y'all know that what we're doing is real over here. Because people be like, oh, you getting these shoes early. They not real. We scan the code. Y'all see what came up. We live on camera. You click that. Y'all see what come up. Nike. We're going to enable our location. Boom. And it's going to take you right to. See that? Authentic. Authentic. I, that's all I... That's it. Drop the box. We're going to get into the shoe. All right. Now, if y'all see me looking off to the left a little bit, there's a lot going on on these shoes. All right. Uh, so I'm going to be looking off a little bit to make sure that I get all the right information for y'all. I don't want to give y'all no uh, fake information or something that I'm guessing about these shoes. So I'm going to try my best to be accurate as I could be. So if I look off to the left a little bit and get a little lost, y'all forgive me, man. Don't judge me. And uh, before I get into the video, shout out to my boys. Y'all know we got that Packer game today. It's going to be crazy, man. It's a divisional round. You know what I'm saying? We got a good matchup with uh, Adams and Ramsey and the whole offensive line against Aaron Donald. So hopefully we can come out on top victorious. Um, I have us winning 27 to 25. So that's just my prediction. Um, we're traveling up to Lambeau and hopefully we're going to get that W. So shout out to the Rams. We got that custom Soul Chaser hat. Y'all see it. Yes, sir. Custom hat. Uh, uh, I took the insoles out of the shoes already because the insoles do have their story of their own that I'm going to get into um, a little bit later in the video. But we're going to get straight into the uh, shoes for y'all, man. Actually, no. On the paper of the shoe, before I get into the actual shoe, they highlighted... Um, if you guys didn't know, these street walkers are literally a food, a shoe about food. Okay, it's six different cities from China and six different dishes highlighted from that country. Okay, so this shoe is literally about food and I love food, as y'all know. So it's right out my alley. It's sneakers and food. Like, how can you go wrong? Anyway, so on the paper, they got all types of different food um, that y'all can see on there. And you got the Nike SB about right there. I don't know how good that's coming up, but the Nike SB is right there. And you have different types of food on there. So that's pretty dope. Again, I said this is all about food. So they definitely uh, emphasize that on here. Extra paper, toss that to the side. Uh, we'll be careful with that. And then we're gonna get into each shoe. Now I'm gonna break each shoe down individually. Yes, sir. These other street hackers. Uh -huh. These fire, y'all. Uh, this is my favorite side of the shoe, I should say, the left side with that nice green on the inside. You got that like nice blue chill outsole. You know what I'm saying? White upper coming up. And um, this pattern right here is actually supposed to be like fried lamb, I believe. Let me look. Uh, six different types of food. They put flour-based foods on one shoe, which would be this shoe. So this shoe was made mostly out of the flour-based material foods that they um, have out in that country. So um, along the front toe area there, as you guys could see, that is, um, let's get this right. It's mung bean milk and bread rings from Beijing. Okay. I'm going to say that one more time, y'all. I'm sorry. Again, I'm reading off my little list here. So what's on the front here is mung bean milk and bread rings from Beijing. And the middle part here is steamed lamb with flatbread. That's exactly what that is. So that's steamed lamb with flatbread. And then y'all see that wood grain right there? That's obviously to represent chopsticks that they used to eat their food with. Okay. Um, this 
Chinese symbol in the back represents food. That's what that stands for, uh, food, which obviously ties into the whole theme of this shoe, which is food. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm pretty excited about it, man. I like the way that they put this material. I don't know how good that's coming up for y'all, but it's like a rough material. It looks like it was like hit with some sandpaper or whatever. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm going to just let y'all go ahead and get a look at how they did that wood grain right there. Y'all see that? Um, and I really like the colorway. The white laces make it pop, as y'all can see on the side. Boom, make it pop. Okay, bam. And then we got watercolor. So all these are watercolor, as y'all can see. That's real nice design detail on the shoe. Watercolor, man. Street Hawkers, they came correct. They really did. They came correct. I'm really excited about how they did this shoe. You know what I'm saying? On the inside, like I said, uh, I took the insoles out. But on this shoe, the left shoe, it came with the blue insole that represents the sky. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but in China, there is a saying um, that to the people, food is heaven. So that's why they put on this shoe that the sky, obviously, because the people out there in China, food is heaven. And then on the other shoe, insole, I'm going to show you the insole because we're talking about insoles right now. This is the ground, obviously, which means that all people's food comes from the ground. So it's really simple on that, but it's a nice detail. You know, Chinese people take their culture very seriously. And um, I respect what they did on this shoe. I think it's nice that they tap into different cultures and backgrounds and things uh, to give us a shoe like this. And they really put Chinese culture and their food with skateboarding and really smacked it together. So uh, that's pretty much the details on the first one. And then uh, we'll get into the second one. I'll put that insole back in later. And while I'm at it, I just want to give a quick shout out to my boy, RJ, man. Thank you so much for letting me use your shoes for this review. Um, I appreciate it, man. Uh, that's nice of you to do that, bro. Give me give me that, that, that push I need for this channel. So we're getting into the second shoe. Um, we got four different laces that came with the shoe. Uh, we have a white, yellow, black, and green okay as y'all know this one came with the white and then we got black yellow and green i don't know why they call that yellow because that's not yellow but anyways those laces pretty much represent the seasonings that they use um to cook their main dishes and those seasonings are uh green onion ginger garlic and pepper so the green garlic the green garlic the green onion is obviously the green laces the ginger, I would say, would be that one. The pepper, obviously, is going to be the black. And then... Um, yeah, I don't know what the white really stands for. But that's what they mean, all right? It's a fact. It's a fact. Don't judge me. Don't question me. I'm telling y'all, it's a fact. I did my research for y'all before I got them did this video. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all better appreciate that. You feel me? I don't just be coming over here telling y'all no bullshit. I really be knowing what I'm talking about sometimes, man. All right? So getting into this shoe, like I said, we got that ostrich leather right there, which represents um, some geese, okay? that That's what that is right there, all right? I don't know if y'all know that, but that is exactly what that is. It's to represent geese, okay? And then on the back, it is Shanghai Yung Chun noodles um, right here. I don't know if I, I forgot that about this shoe. We're going to jump back. They put the Shanghai noodles right here. Um, what are those noodles called? They're called Shanghai Yang Chun noodles. <laughs> um, and then again, like I said, they got the embossed pattern of the chopsticks on that one. That's my favorite part is that Nike swoosh on there is kind of fire, y'all. And then on this shoe, they got that silver Nike sign because this is, like I said, this is the one where the foods on this shoe is designed to make your mouth tingle. The other shoe was the flower-based shoes, um, foods. This one is the mouth, make your mouth tingle foods. So they put the silver Nike swoosh right there to represent the utensils that are used in the kitchen to cook uh, with the hot food. They put the copper on the toe to represent the hot pot that they use to cook this. You know what I'm saying? And then all of this right here is shaved ice. So that's why they did that like that. Uh, that's watercolor, by the way. But that is representing of shaved ice. And then that Chinese symbol is food. That's what that symbol means. It means food. Okay, we got that nice rust on the inside, burnt orange, whatever you want to call it. Um, and again, the insole for this shoe is right here, which is the ground. Our food comes from the ground. So they really emphasize food on this shoe. Um, 
the release date on these are January 22nd, 20, yep, 22nd. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. This is a nine and a half. Obviously, I'm going for my personal size. It's a, it's guaranteed. I got my size locked in. I just don't have it yet. So I wanted to get this review out for y'all. And uh, here it is, man. And I'm pretty much excited as fuck that I even did this because buddies are fire. Don't sleep on them. Um, they're going for crazy amounts of money on, on StockX right now. Uh, shit, just to give y'all a general idea, you know what I'm talking about? They really are expensive. Let's look them up. How much they costing right now? Okay. Street Hawker. What they costing, man? What they costing? So for the size that I have in my hand right now, which is a nine and a half, they're going for seven hundred dollars. Five and a half is going for twelve hundred. So it looks like the biggest one on there is the four and a half for thirteen hundred. From what I can see, yeah. So they're going for pretty much really really good resale, man. Um, I would sit on this shoe if I, you're thinking about sitting or reselling. I would sit. Uh, this shoe is going to definitely do numbers, and they're limited. There's not going to be a big amount of these available, especially a shoe like this, man. It's coming right in time for Chinese New Year. Uh, they just did so much crazy stuff on this shoe to make it pop. Like, they got the watercolors and all types of different foods and things that they use and materials to really emphasize and, and make their point on this shoe. You know, you got the yellow gold outsole right here. and You got that blue on that one. It's just completely different, but it's the same shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just really went crazy, man. And I'm glad that they did this. Um, they, the collabs that they've been coming with are really crazy. Like, they're really, really crazy. So, you know, this is where we are. And I think it's dope that they made these shoelaces to represent the seasonings that they use in their food. Uh, that's pretty sick. So, uh, let me know how y'all feel about these, man. This has been my review on the Street Hawker. Street Hawk. Er. Street Hawk. Er. All right. Uh, Nike SB Dunks. So... Y'all let me know if y'all going for these. They do release on Saturday, coming up the 22nd. Uh, pretty sure all your skate shops will have them. Um, I don't see these releasing anywhere else besides the Nike sneaker app, obviously. But they will be releasing at all your local skate shops. So y'all might want to check about that raffle if it's not too late to see if y'all can get in there. Um, and I also like that good ankle support. I don't know if y'all can really see that. Y'all see that? That good thick ankle right there? That's nice, man. That grip your ankle real good. Real good. I like it. So, yeah, I really like these shoes. Uh, personal cop for sure. Sit for sure. I'm not selling mine. I'm going to wear them. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. So, let me know if you guys have liked this video. Early review on the Street Hawkers. I was so excited about this video. Sorry if I was rambling. Uh, but I just had to get this video out. Man, I'm so excited. So, here we go, man. I hope I didn't sound crazy with all the different stuff I threw at y'all. But that's pretty much facts about the shoe. It's literally about six different cities from China and six different uh, types of foods. So here you have it, man. Street Hawkers. This is what it is. Thank you guys for rocking with me. It's your boy Soul Chase here with another early review. And we out.